All right, now we're going to talk about events. Events in Facebook are really handy because you can actually see everything that's happening from all your friends and from the companies that you follow in one easy spot if they're doing a live, uh, live event, a live thing. So we're going to go to events from your personal Facebook page, your home page, and along the left-hand side, you're going to see events. So events are inclusive, all inclusive. You have birthdays, anniversaries, physical events like conferences, or um, maybe you'll see a lot of bands. They'll post a, you know an event page and have people um, come and join them for a show. I mean, that's what an event is. Now. You've seen events happen on the PAFP site. You've seen uh, event registration happen in a lot of different places. It's part of the web's interaction. One thing that Facebook does not let you do is do payment gateways for event registration. You can join an event. And you can maybe say you're going to RS, you kind of RSVP is maybe you're going to go to it, or you can just say no, you're not going to go to it. So you can't actually collect money for event registration through Facebook. It, they don't allow that yet. So right now I'm seeing a couple of birthdays of some of my friends. I'm seeing a few um, events that are being put on by um, some of the companies that I follow. Let's take a look at Lehigh Valley Style, which is a magazine. And here's an event page. You have very similar, you have a cover photo. You can join in the event and you can say that you're, I'm going to go to this event. If I clicked maybe, I'd be put in the maybe category. And you can see all the people that they had invited. So I can invite my own friends to this group. And I can change my status to going, maybe, not going. And I can also change some of the notifications from here. That I can stop getting notifications. I can share the event out to the people who are following me, the people who like me, my friends, and also export the event, and that puts it into a different file type. Um, it's pretty handy if you are actually creating an event. But um, here you'll see it's information about the event, the time, date, location, the, the, the weather forecast, the information about it. You're going to see the directions of the map location of where it's going to happen, and you're going to see a timeline wall. So you can see what people said they're going to do. You can see if people are going, you can see their comments. This is a great way for you to um, uh, actually have more community uh, involvement so that people can interact with you online and offline. So for a physician, why would you want to create an event? Maybe you are partaking in um, a local chamber of commerce event, maybe there's a festival, maybe there's something that you and your practice is doing that's going to be a part of, or maybe you're part of a hospital setting and you're putting on an event to raise awareness. Uh, creating an event page is really helpful because you can have that pre-event conversation happening and you can have people talk amongst themselves so that when they get to the actual event, there's already built up um, excitement for it. So that's how event pages work. I can invite my friends from off, you know, off the side here. Again, Facebook wants me to connect with other things online. You can't get rid of them all. And I can uh, participate in this event as well. So that's how event pages work. And let me show you how to create one. So I'm going to go back to my home page. I'm going to go to events. And I'm going to go to create event. So I have to give an event name and give some details, some information about the event. I can start typing in um, a location, and if that location has a Facebook page, like the West of Annapolis here, um, the, I can actually you know, put that information here, and then people can find it automatically. I can put the time and the dates, and I can also put the privacy settings to invite only, public, friends and guests, friends of guests. So that's how you can set your privacy for your event. A lot of really successful events are set to public, especially if there's no uh, registration fee. 
And if there is a registration fee and you have to direct people to a website to register, you can put that link inside of the details page. So that's how creating an event will actually work. And then what happens then is that you get a blank version of what this looks like. So you'll have no posts here. Nobody will have anything here. You'll have your information set up here. And if you have uh, a map location set up, that'll be good. You also have no cover photo. You have to go in and change the cover photo. And um, then you have to start inviting friends. And you can go through all of your friends and invite them all to your event. And then they can come to the event page and click if they're going to join in the event. You know, maybe come or not going to come at all. So that's how events work.